on Saturday. Same foot that he broke in the second game of his senior year here at Preston Wood, Preston Wood Christian High School. And he did not come back for three months until the state championship game when he scored 17 and they won another title. UConn goes back to Saul now. This is about the third different look we've seen just trying to keep Kentucky off balance. Aaron Harrison misses. Wisconsin's wondering why wasn't that the result on Saturday for the same spot. Diving in between two Kentucky players. And a foul call on the Wildcats. That was the son Chroma taking it to the home. And you know, it's going to get to him. Is it Brima? And they call them Brima. This is going to be an interesting stretch here from Kentucky's standpoint. Remember, they've in essence been in this same position the last four games. They've trailed going into the half of all four and they were able to come back. And they've been down significant uh, deficits as well. But I think Andrew and Aaron Harrison are two guys that have got to figure out a way to play against this pressure and quickness of UConn's backcourt. Missing the last four shots from the field. back outside and the Twins pass it between them with seven to shoot. Splitting the defenders, taking it in by Kofis. And he puts the exclamation point on so many follow-ups. Well, it's their best offense. We've seen it all tournament. Just get into the paint. Any kind of penetration, get to the rim and put the ball up there. And let your bigs go get it. right there. They will neutralize it with a quick two at the other end. And he's giving up his point. Hawkins, the little man on the floor, able to get inside and get the rebound. Partly because Napier was slow to get up. No doubt about it. Kentucky's best offense at times is a, a shot at the rim. You're going to see the effort of the point twist showing no ill effect from that angle. And Bo Wright back at you with his own bucket. 